Good afternoon, Tuesday the 2nd of January 2024. Welcome to the new year and whatever new projects or new timelines, new energy frequencies you are entering into, I'm sure that you're going forward in the right direction. Now's the time to modify what your energy is vibrating to. Anything you're uncomfortable with, observe, take notice, and then do something about it. Sit with that energy, feel that energy, work out what is actually going on inside of you, and begin to change, to shift, to release what no longer serves your highest good. So I'm going to do uh, some cards and of course when I do cards I'm really using the card as a focal point and I'm going way beyond that, I'm reading the energy, I'm seeing what comes to me intuitively, clairvoyantly, clairaudiently, clairsentiently and just relaying some of what I might see, feel, sense and know from the spiritual worlds for the people that I come to. So if you are watching this and you would like me to come to you with a card, then you need to comment, otherwise I don't know that you're there. When I see you comment, then I will be looking at the names and I will know where I'm drawn and I will just let things unfold quite naturally and see where we go. I want to give a, a card for everybody for today and the card is a beautiful card because it's a card which really does apply to all of us. It applies to everybody and the card is Heart of Source. Heart of Source. All-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance and serenity. This is where we are all headed towards, this beautiful source energy and working to come into alignment with it. It's already within us. It is a part of our soul frequency already because we are each a part of source, but we are unravelling. We are releasing the veils of illusion, of disappointment, of any negative energy that we may have picked up or that we've incarnated to release from other times and places. And I do read past lives in the energy field of people that I read for as well, some of which are really impacting your present timeline. So if I do come to you I may also come up with a past life reading. I may also tune into guides around you or loved ones in the spirit world or your aura and the colours uh, within your aura. But not just that, also the colours coming into your aura with energies that you may be working with, that your guides and loved ones may be channeling into your aura. All energy has frequency. It also has sound. So anything can come through, but I know that it will be positive. So I'm going to look now and see who's commented so that I can feel drawn or look and see where I am drawn. Hello to uh, Joe Kay, Janice, Mina, Jen, Faye. All right, so let me feel. Okay, so I'm going to come to Janice Day to start me off. All right, Janice Day. And when I've read for you these mini readings, do comment and uh, share with us how that resonates with you, how that fits with you, and what that means to you. So before I uh, pull a card, I'm already automatically scanning. Okay, so I'm using my senses to connect to your frequency vibration, Janice. 
and I noticed two things straight away. I noticed that there is uh, an element of a deep purple energy coming in very much around your heart and your solar plexus. I also know that there is like a brown energy and this is old residue, old emotions that have kept you stuck that you still haven't fully processed and yet released but I do feel that you're very aware of this and I do feel that you are um, connected spiritually because the next thing I see is this beautiful um, trickle this um, white light coming down through your crown and it's sparkly so we've got beautiful tiny little stars in that energy and that tells me that you either are or that you have been calling in spirit, working with spirit because you've opened the door to receive that connection and you know that once we open the door um, we allow help to come in from the spiritual realms. I also would say that you have a connection with angelic realms because like all energy um, the auric field is changing, it's flowing and that happens when we focus on different things, when we have different thoughts, different emotions or we're triggered but I also saw your field change and this gold uh, all around your aura and this is an angelic gold colour. I also know that within the gold I've got a grandmother energy and I want to go to father's side uh, grandmother energy coming in supporting you and this may sound very random but somebody shows me hot cross buns in my mind and that is symbolic. Uh, it could be that there's a memory or that that time of the year is significant to you in some way um, but just remember that I said that and let's uh, see which card comes out these are the guardian angel oracle cards by Debbie Malone okay so we have for Janet angel of decisions so somewhere in your thoughts your mind and what you are doing at the moment, there are decisions to be made about what you want to do. Um, I feel this is to do with uh, an ongoing thing around you, actually. Something which you've never actually been able to tie up the loose ends of, like an ongoing situation. And uh, it could be to do with family. Do call in angelic realms to give you clarity and know that it's not your responsibility to solve everybody else's karma, sort out their energy, or indeed share with them or give them what you have earned because you can't give spiritual awareness to people and not everybody is on that path of awakening um, in the same lifetime and we earn our light, it's very precious and it's very important that we know that there is a, a boundary there and that we're not supposed to do other people's uh, karmic work for them. Yes, we can send angels, we can uh, help them verbally and we can pray for them, we can give them good advice but we must not take on their karma and their burdens and we are selves down with it that's not what we're here for we're here to clear our own energy to live the best life we can be the best versions of ourselves that we can shine our light and through the very fact of holding the frequencies of light we are helping everybody we are bringing that into the earth plane and that light wakes up people who see and feel, even unconsciously, the light and it just activates people, the right people who are ready and that's all we need to concern ourselves with. Don't worry about what you can't do, all right? I just want to emphasise I feel that you've taken on too much responsibility for other people and their stuff over your lifetime and I also feel that's a karmic lesson 
for you not to do that. You've had lifetimes before when you have done that a lot. And I'm going to say it um, because it is what I see. Uh, I know that you've got a past life uh, with a monk, uh, a you as a monk, and I hear the word Franciscan. So, of course, they are very devoted uh, to helping others, but perhaps not in the most balanced way, because sometimes um, their own needs aren't met. Um, so there needs to be this balance. So you might want to meditate on that um, and ask your spirit team to come in and clear that energy for you. So give me uh, a comment, give me some feedback. And I shall come to somebody else now. Right, let's see who we have. We have Uliana. Hello, Happy New Year. Uh, hi to Shanette. Okay. Hi, Sharon. Hiya. Uh, okay. So as I'm scrolling up and down, my cursor has actually stopped on uh, Uliana. A pet tree. So I'm going to pull a card for you. So let's let's see. We've got lots of uh, lovely rose light uh, and pink in your aura, in your energy. Um, and I also know, as I connect to your field, you are very considerate. You're, you're very caring. Um, and we've also got a very devoted feeling devoted to the spiritual side of life and uh, developing that. And also my guide uh, has just said to me, my spirit guide says you have a very good understanding of it as well. So there's obviously wisdom there with you and I feel you've been on, on the path for a long time and that you have accrued a lot of wisdom a lot of knowledge and you are still growing. I know that um, because I sense it but I also see this beautiful green light. It's a, a mid to light shimmering green energy coming into your aura. When I see green, um, depending on the shades and how it makes me feel, it's growth usually. It can also be nature or both but this is growth. Uh, this is for you. It's about peeling back the layers uh, and releasing the old. And there's a sense of wanting to be free and to not make any of the mistakes that you've made in the past, the learning curves, which we all do. We all do that. Um, so you're, you're looking at, or I'm looking, um, at a runway, and I've got an aeroplane symbolically on the runway just given to me, so I know that there's quite a clear run. There's not much now for you to release before your aeroplane, this is you, takes off. Very symbolic, um, but that's what I see. I also know that uh, a grandfather figure is um, bringing a male energy, family energy, and um, I'm also seeing a parrot, a, a colourful parrot in my mind. Um, and I get the feeling of cheerfulness uh, coming in with this energy. So let's see now, Juliana, your card. For you, okay, we have the Angel of Unity. Angel of Unity, it's about uh, bringing people together, people who are on the same path, people that already understand, people that want to go forward uh, on their journey and working with groups, uh, being with groups of like-minded people who are very open and very uh, knowledgeable themselves, but we all are still growing. They're aware of that, you're aware of that. I also want to mention sacred ceremony as if this is something which you would be very good at in working with people, conducting uh, sacred ceremonies. Um, I really get that quite strongly. 
okay I've got candles I've got music in the background I've got circles of people and I feel also meeting in person okay so not just um, something online but actually getting to meet in person I hear the word gatherings so I know that this is part of your sole purpose bringing people together to share in unity I hope that resonates with you. Do comment and give me some feedback and I hope you enjoyed it. Hey Kim. Okay, Janice, thank you for the feedback. Janice says spot on, thank you. <laughs> and she's working on her Easter items. Fabulous. That's why I saw the hot cross bun then. <laughs> I'm glad it made sense. Um, there's a lot of support behind that, um, really good energy, and it's very much on the right road. And uh, also I, I see now different colour crystals in my mind. Right, okay. So the next person who I am drawn to is called Anna... Vente Gott. Okay. I don't know you. I don't think I've ever read for you. I don't know anything about you. But let's see. Um, okay. So straight away I've got um, a lot of crystalline energy coming in as I think of you. Uh, I think of crystalline um, grids. I think of sacred geometry, the crystalline frequencies. But as I connect with that energy, I want to ground it more as well because it's undulating slightly, this beautiful high frequency energy, these prisms of light which are in your aura. I want you to bring down more through the lower centers and through your earth star and really ground in these higher frequencies which I feel you've been connecting to, bringing in, calling in. They have to be more grounded. Um, bring them down through your earth star, about 12 inches beneath your feet, as I'm sure you know, down through your Gaia chakra, about six inches below the earth star, and then a further six inches down, we have the crystalline chakra deep in the earth. And think about igniting that with what you're bringing in through your higher centers, down through your body and connecting into your crystalline chakra for real anchoring. You also have a very pure white angel working with you. This angel holds up a crystal sphere, a quartz crystal sphere. And as I connect to this energy, I can really feel uh, the vibration. It just slightly takes my breath away because it's like being in a higher atmosphere, very clean, very clear, that pure crystal energy. So working with this is very much on your path in alignment with who you are. And... Um, it's, it's opening up an energy in you which you've worked with before. For you, this is a, a revisiting of energy from Atlantis and uh, the crystalline temples. We have um, a reworking of the old and bringing it through into 2024. And the rose light, again, it's really important uh, this beautiful rose light coming in, the love energy. So let's um, pick you a card, because I don't think I actually picked you a card yet. Just reading your energy. So, uh, Anna. So who is around you, Anna, that is quite sceptical? Because before I actually turn over the card, uh, one of my guides just said to me, scepticism, and I feel that energy is around you, um, but you don't want to take any notice of that. Um, that's somebody else's energy, and where they are, fine, you know, let them be who they are, no problem. 
um, but don't let that come in and deter you in any way. Your card, Anna, is Angel of Encouragement. Angel of Encouragement, okay, she's breaking through the winning line, I see the ribbon, and that tells me you can do it. So do not have any self-doubt, any fear, you can do. Uh, and also, um, I feel that Spirit wants to tell me that your focus, your visions, your intentions, they do and are having an effect. Even if you do not see the results yet in the 3D world, they are coming into the manifestation. They will come into form. Okay, you can do it. So if this resonates with you, which I'm sure it will, uh, give me some comment and some feedback, Anna. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Hi, Catherine. And okay. I'm just um, waiting to see where I'm drawn. <laughs> Melody, what are you writing to me? Sorry, meant dear. Oh, hey, hey, fear. Well, I don't want any of that. <laughs> yeah, we'll cancel that one. Um, Melody, let's give Melody a card. Melody. There is, um, my first impression is of a, a burgundy energy around you. Um, and to me, what's happening here is I'm looking at... Um, as if this uh, colour, which should be really a ruby, a ruby colour, a ruby, a beautiful uh, ruby ray energy, is actually being muddied uh, by thought forms. Whether that's coming in to you, whether that's also your reaction and slight irritation, annoyance by other people's thoughts or comments, it's actually muddying your ruby ray. Um, and this energy should be absolutely clear and uh, a very beautiful ruby red colour. It's a very strong vibration and it's a very spiritual colour, this ruby. It is part of the, the heart energy uh, rays. Um, I also want to uh, say that I can pick up this intention of yours for... Um, I'm hearing the word ascension, moving, just that's just shifting the energies forward and up in frequency. And that's a never-ending thing, a never-ending process for all of us as we clear out. We're just shifting and opening up and uh, you're, you're at a sticking point at the moment in your solar plexus melody. It's to do with your own power. And, and feeling uh, this restriction around it and uh, I feel that you really want to break through and express who you really are but you're finding it difficult at the moment. Keep going Melody, do not give up. I'm going to pick you a card Melody and uh, see what I get. I know that Archangel Michael energy is very strong around you as well because um, my my team is showing me the blue and Archangel Michael. Um, so he is working with you. And what's your card? It is... Aha! Melody, the angel of procrastination. Whatever your fears are that are holding you back, and whatever you hesitate to do, and this is about boundaries. I know it's about boundaries. It's about really putting that line in the sand and sticking up for yourself. Do not procrastinate over doing that, and it will be fine. It will be absolutely all right. So please go ahead, stand your ground, and really draw that line in the sand. No more procrastination. Um, you're needed to move forward, Melody. 
and you're needed now to make some important shifts. There are very deep issues that really need to be shifted for you now. Do give me a comment back, Melody, and um, I will pick one more card for somebody else. Um, let's see. <laughs> hey, Annie. And hi to uh, da -da 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 -da. right. Mm. We feel into the energies. I hope that I'm going to pronounce your name correctly. I think I would pronounce this J-O-K-E. I, I would, how am I going to pronounce that? J-O-K? Maybe. But it's you that I'm drawn to now. Uh, Verheist. Okay. <laughs> I like your energy. You feel very friendly as I just look at your name and I connect into your energy. I get a sense that you're warm and that you're friendly, which um, is really nice. So, let's see. I also know that people feel very comfortable around you. They do. You make people feel very much at home and relaxed. And that's something really valuable because not everybody makes us feel relaxed and comfortable because you don't put pressure on people. You really don't. There's no judgment. There's no expectation. You're just a lovely person. Um, and there's lots of peach colour and lots of orange colour. These are lovely sociable. Peach uh, comes in when somebody is very caring and that's in your aura. So let's see what your card is. Ah, you have the Angel of Beginnings. I see the arch doorway, see the lady, which is you, with the angel, which is your guardian angel. New beginnings, starting something new. Thinking about something, I want to take you out into a garden. And uh, I want to talk about changing a garden around. And... Um, uh, making plans, considerations of where you want to plant things and put new things in. And um, I feel there is a great deal of satisfaction in planning with that. And that while you do that, um, it's very, very therapeutic for you. And I also get the sense that I want to go like that with my fingers and I'm rubbing and smelling herbs. So if you're not already doing this, this is something which is very recommended for you to have around you. Um, that would bring you a sense of um, pleasure and enjoyment. I'm just seeing if, if there's anything else there for you. I also feel you are the sort of person that gives people a big hug. I really feel that warmth coming out and if that I was meeting you, you would hug like this, really nice. Um, so thank you for watching and um, do leave me a comment if what I have said resonates with you and I send everybody love, angel blessings and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care of you and know that we are all unfolding and doing the best that we can. Follow the positive thoughts that you have and chuck the other ones out. Bye-bye for now. Bye.